Hey guys, hi, how are you? Today I bring you my independent review of the Corporate W903 and I'm gonna call it the 903 for simplicity. It is a cool device that brings upper CarPlay and under Auto to any car. It's got a nine inch touchscreen, wireless connectivity and a reversible built-in dash cam. This portable multimedia dashboard console is a great and affordable way for upgrading your vehicle. But why don't we go ahead and unbox it and explore the features and see if it really transforms your driving experience. But first, let me get something out of the way. Copyright reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to review their product. I agreed and they sent me this free sample. So even though it's a free sample, they're not paying me to say nice things about them or the company and they're not previewing this video or what I have to say about their product. And actually I told them that I will only upload the video if I had a positive opinion about the product. So if you're watching this video, it's because after going over the features of the Copyright 903, I believe that it can be a solution for many of us that are attached to older vehicles that missed the boat when it comes to connectivity and that didn't come with Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. Having said that, I will leave you a couple of links below in case you're interested in this product. Ordering through those links will not cost you more money, but I will get a small commission if you order through the links. Make sure that you use my coupon code if you want to order directly from CarPlayRide to save $50. But if you're more of an Amazon person, I understand and I'll leave you the link to that as well. But if you ask me, I will rather order directly from the company because I I guess they could keep more money and I mean, what's bigger, Carporite or Amazon? And honestly, I don't, I don't care if you order with my link or not, but I'm just saying whenever I have the opportunity to order something, I'd rather go with the company directly. In this case, I checked and for example, to deliver to my place, it was free shipping. So if you're one of those that has Amazon Prime and get free stuff delivered to you, you will get also free shipping. At least it was my case. I live in San Diego and I understand that it may be different for each one of you. Who could benefit from this product? Drivers who don't drive the same fleet vehicle every day, therefore they need portability of an item that can be easily installed onto the vehicle of the day, maybe an Uber driver, Lyft drivers, food delivery people, you know, like Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber Eats, and all those heroes that bring us delicious and overpriced ready to eat food to our doorstep but we're too lazy to drive. Perhaps truck drivers, or maybe somebody has an RV, and you know, it's a high price item that may not come with the latest technology and you don't feel like busting open your instrument panel, your dashboard to get one aftermarket installed. So this is pretty cool. And I'm sort of a rock when it comes to technology. So I expect this to be a plug and play out of the box, easy to connect. Otherwise it just won't work for me. So let's see what's in the box and make sure that everything that is listed is actually included without any visible defect. I want to be unbiased. So I'll point out any shortcomings of this product as credibility is very important to me. Um, I left it like this for you to see that I have no prior knowledge of this item. I've never seen this item in person. So let's open it. I see now notice how the box is a little damaged just because the UPS driver just jammed it into my box and I really struggled to get it out. It got to me like super quick. Maybe when I agreed to the product, it took about maybe about three, four days, four days maybe to get. Let's so see this thing. Am I in the frame? Yes, I am. So this is the precious item. It comes with this nice foam to protect it. Extra wrapping. Let's see. And one thing I noticed right away that is not apparent, like when I see the videos is how slick this is. So it's nine inches. But it's nine inches across, you know, like screen. That's how they measure screens. So I like it because it's slim. A lot of older vehicles were not designed for those tablet style center screen. So when you have those, they're taller, they may have struck to view a little more. So I like that about this, uh, this device. There's, that's that. You see that? So this is the, the reversal camera. So let's see what other goodies are in here. So this is the power source. And what I like about this one is that it, like in the case of my car, the way to connect it is gonna be with this one because this is gonna be the FM transmitter. So by plugging this into the car, it's gonna, I'm gonna find an empty radio station to be able to stream audio through my speakers. I mean, an older vehicle, 2007, with premium sound, but unfortunately I couldn't make good use of it. So with this, I'm able to uh, listen to my podcast and all that when I'm driving. And then it's got a, a USB-C connector, which is the standard now. So I'm pretty happy with that. If you're like me, that you don't drive a fleet vehicle and this is gonna be your vehicle, 
I might find a spot. I'm not sure that it's going to fit exactly where I have in mind, but if it does, it'll be, it's going to be great because now I just install it like that and I can leave the base there and I don't have to leave the screen, but it's going to be, I think it's going to be more stable. Um, moving on, you have this one. This is another base that has an adhesive and maybe you can also screw it to the dashboard. That's, that's something I would do. And then finally for installing, you have this suction cup to be able to put it on your windshield, right? And in my car, I could also attach it to the actual navigation screen that I have. And this is, oh, this is the auxiliary plug. This is also another way that I could be able to stream audio from my phone to this, to the car. And then it comes with the manual. The manual is really high quality. It's color, it's in um, perfect English. This is very nice pictures, very nice graphics, very high quality. And uh, that's it. So now let's go to the car and see how it works. Okay, now that we made our way to my vehicle, this is where this Carporite 903 is gonna go. It's a 2007 Acura TSX. As you can see, it does have navigation system. Unfortunately, it's very outdated. And even if you get the latest DVD, it's still gonna be outdated. First thing we don't, we don't wanna forget is to remove the extra protectors. I had in mind that this could be a good spot for this device, but unfortunately, it's not 100% flat. Let's do it first. I'm fine with the, in the windshield. So let's remove this thing right here. This is gonna work better than actually have it installed with uh, sticking this semi permanent base because now it doesn't have to be just laying there. This setup works for me. So now let's take it off. It's a very easy to snap on from what it seems. Look at this. So, okay, so now it's there and we get to put it here. Lovely. I'm liking this already because it actually rests on the dash and I'm still able to reach there. Okay, now let's do the power supply. The manual doesn't say which exact model it is and I wish it did. And I looked in the manual and I look in the screen and look at the back, it doesn't say anywhere. That would have been a little bit nice and more user friendly for any questions or anything that, could, that I could have. I could go to the specific model. Now let's turn on the car. Okay, so as you can see, that's the navigation system. Let's see a race. See which one launches first. So far, it's Carporite. Keep in mind, this is 20 years old. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna ignore this one because if we ignore it, it shuts down. If not, it's gonna be on. So let's focus on this right here, right? Let's pair it up. Did I bring the manual? Yes, I did. Okay, now it's recording already, right? So let's see, CarPlay. It says to turn on my Bluetooth. Let's do that. Carporite, let's see if it detected it. Yeah, it's there. So now, yes, I wanna pair it. I'm gonna allow it to sing my favorites. Use CarPlay. Yes, I wanna use CarPlay. Whoa, okay. We are in business. This is the basic feature for what I wanna use this device. I want to use it on those long trips that you have seen on this channel. And so far, uh, for being the first time that I paired this to the car, it's a total success. It didn't take me, what, 30 seconds? But I want to get rid of this okay, system. Tip sound. Off. Great. Okay, dead in time. And I want to be able to see the camera. Oh, there you go. Okay. So, as you can see, the suction cup's in the way. What do I want to do about this? Do I want to lift this? Okay. And now you get to look at me. That's a little bit stretched to give you a wide view, right? So that's me on, it's, that's in 4K, and this is in 1080. Not bad, so who can use this? Who can give this some usability? I will say an Uber driver that wants to record everything that is going on in his ride, if he has a problematic or drunk uh, person in the back. You know what, I'm gonna have to cut and see if I can get a better way to have this thing uh, clear the suction cup. This is my favorite spot for it. 
What do you think of that resolution? I think it's good enough. And then we're going to turn it like that so that you can see right now, we're going to go on a little road trip to show you how stable this is. And along with it, we're going to let our GoPro record, which well, we agree that is the standard for action cameras. And I'm going to be in a very awkward position because I'm holding my main camera in my hand as I drive. So you see that fisheye effect? It's, it's to get most of the image that is in front of you. So I did that same thing with the GoPro. I put it on a wide angle so that we can get as much of what's ahead of us. I like how clear the image is. You can see it's a little shaky, although it's sort of resting on the actual dashboard. But um, I guess it is what it is because I cannot install it with the other base here. The good side about this is that it's portable, so you can just get it from one car, put it in another. I have three cars and uh, two of them don't have Apple CarPlay under auto. So I can just uh, switch this thing between cars so I don't have to buy two. The way I set it up is within my reach. So it's pretty, it's pretty good. I'm happy so far. I guess I showed you enough, right? So are we clear with how nice this image is? Maybe we can pull over and try to be able to stream audio through the speaker system of the car. That's gonna be like level five for me because uh, I don't know how to do it. But the manual's there. One thing that I forgot to mention is that the memory card's included. So I'm gonna look up the price and I'm gonna put it on the on the bottom of this screen so that you can see that it's also included. So that's that only adds value to the Carporite 903 because it includes the memory card. And when I buy things like my GoPros or my drone, they did not come with memory cards. So let's try to see if we can pair up the music to be able to stream it through the car. Listen to that. East toward Camino de la Reina. I was able to make the sound of the Google Maps guidance be fed to the speakers of the car. Now I have upper car play on my car, which is great. I unfortunately couldn't do it on camera because I had to play with all the options and when everything failed, I had to go to the manual. What you just saw was an honest unboxing of the Carpore 903. I didn't know what was in the box. I opened it, I went through the items, I went down to my car and I tried to connect it. It took me about 30 seconds to be able to pair the Bluetooth, which I thought was pretty good, but I was unable to sort through the features like I was some sort of expert. Actually, originally I did connect the audio to the speakers of the car with the help of the auxiliary cable, this one right here, but instead I opted to go with the FM transmitter. So right now when I turn on the car, it's gonna connect to Bluetooth automatically because it's already been set up. Once you open the key, CarPrite turns on, and then right now it's thinking, it's gonna probably pick up the signal. So let me show you right here. CarPrite is already connected. So we want to go to the airport and let me show you how. Head east toward Camino del Este. The audio is streaming through the speakers. So let's cancel this route because we don't need it. Exit, we're gonna go home. And let me show you that we need to switch from CarPlay to AirPlay, my other favorite feature. So to do that, we need to turn off the Bluetooth Leave Wi-Fi on. As you can see, CarLink is already connected. So we're gonna hit AirPlay. Do I wanna switch from AirPlay mode? I confirm. So it's there, right? And now what we do is we do it cast. Sorry. We go to smart screen. And it's there. This has been my CarPorite Nano 3 unboxing and review. I found the 903 to be a versatile device that brings Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, GPS, music, video streaming, Bluetooth, a dash cam, and more to your vehicle. I do wish that it, that it was a little bit easier to download and format the dash cam video, but then again, how often do you plan to have the need to download footage? But that's all the negatives that I could think of. The touchscreen is fast with good resolution to enjoy video streaming. But I wanna hear from you. Are you looking into gaining the best multimedia dashboard console? Perhaps you already have one, so I want to know if he has lived up to your expectations. Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.